Thank you. Thank you, your angel. An emotional reunion two decades in the making, as Azita Milanian and Matthew Christian Whitaker see each other for the first time since what could have ended in tragedy. No, thank you for coming to my life. You changed my life. The two meeting again on Matthew's 20th birthday, and exactly 20 years after she found him buried alive in a shallow grave in the San Gabriel Mountains. It's on May 16, 1998, Azita was running in the foothills near her Altadena home with her three dogs when she heard a noise in the bushes, then found her dogs all intently focused on the same spot. What is it? It's like a baby feet, and he started crying. And when I heard him crying, I started digging the bushes and the shallow grave, and I saw a baby with umbilical cord attached. She tried to call 911 from her cell phone, but got cut off. So she flagged down a driver and waited for help. And I take all the dirt out of his nose and his mouth and try to let him breathe. And I told him, please don't die. Please don't die. I love you. Hospital nurses named him Baby Christian, saying it was a miracle he was still alive. He had been outside buried for hours and had hypothermia. But doctors were able to get him healthy, and he was adopted by a Southern California family. Azita says not a day went by she didn't think about him, hoping one day they would be reunited. Couldn't be more grateful and just overjoyed and just appreciative of her, one, changing her whole schedule, two, going back, three, staying with me and making sure I was going to be alive and taken care of. Matthew told Ryan Seacrest he only found out about his miraculous story a year ago. I was in the car with my godmom and she was like, has anyone ever told you like the true story on how you were found? As part of the reunion, Azita took Matthew back to the spot where she found him. He said, boy, are you okay? I'm sorry. You say you'll be okay with that. He said, yeah, but that looks like it would have been my grave mm -hmm. if he wouldn't have found me. Now, Azita says after this happened, she started a charity to help children, orphans mainly, and pregnant teens. It's called Children of One Planet. Uh, Matthew, meantime, well, he is studying journalism at college in Arizona, and Azita tells me that she feels such a strong emotional bond with him that she thinks they're going to be great friends from now on, and Matthew has already invited her to his college graduation.